Welcome to Hamlet Help, where only four kinds of Ophelias are found throughout the entire book. First is just the obedient one, who's kind of, you know, controlled by her father. And then the one who is actually, uh, <laughs> prostituted Might not have by her father. We don't really know. <laughs> Next is pure Ophelia, who is, um, really encouraged to keep her virginity. <laughs> That won't be a problem. Girl, you need help. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and crazy Ophelia. <laughs> we know her pretty well. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. Now we will first discuss one of the most, um, like this quote kind of embodies the whole feminist vibe in Hamlet, which is really nothing at all, and goes, "Frailty, thy name is woman." Um, that's about it. <laughs> sums Hamlet. it up. Yeah. <laughs> that's about how much power they have. Um, Ophelia is a really sad, sad, passive woman <laughs> character. Yeah. Yes. Um, she really doesn't have any depth at all. She just has kind of like four frames, um, which we introduced earlier. And none of them really describe a strong woman that we'd all... Yeah, a normal be, woman. Yeah. yeah, aspire to be. Yeah. Yes, at all. Um, kind of interesting is um, when Hamlet talks to Polonius about how he is a fishmonger. You can kind of interpret that on many levels. Um, he's certainly talking about Ophelia and how, you know, Polonius is just kind of prostituting his daughter to get information on Hamlet. Yeah, and yeah. then. And then they tell, or he tells Ophelia to get thee to a nunnery, which could either mean that he wants to preserve her virginity, or she's, she's a whore. What? She needs to yeah. 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 put away. Get her. Yeah. Yeah. It's all clean up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. And we never really know the answer, and that's kind of yeah. like what's kind of cool about Shakespeare is that he presents that to us, but then it's up to us to decide what we want to make of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Leaves it up to the reader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. And so, you've seen, even in death, Ophelia is an extremely passive character. She just kind of floats, drifts away. And um, you guys noticed in your classes, like, a lot of people got really pissed off when Hamlet was just such a sissy and just yeah. didn't take action on anything. And When he acted like a girl. Yeah, when he acted like a girl. <laughs> like, a, like a girl. Yeah, and Shakespeare definitely does that on purpose. Like, yeah. Hamlet and Ophelia have some the same things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he seems really pathetic to some people. Yeah. That's Ophelia. Well, yeah. it's funny how people get frustrated, like, when, like, a guy is acting like a girl character. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean... And equally when girls yeah. act like guy characters. Yeah. A ladybug joined us for a feminine talk. <laughs> how how apt. <laughs> 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 um, speaking of ladies, there's also the queen, mm -hmm. and she is also kind of, she doesn't take, like, her own actions and, like, decide for herself what's right. She just, like, goes from one husband to another, and it's kind of slutty in that sense. Um, and a little bit crazy in the fact that she just goes from one to the next and uh, doesn't seem very loyal and just kind of easily persuaded. Yep. That's another stereotype of women, just kind of like the conniving snake that's kind of manipulative and like wants power in yeah. a way. Yeah, you'll see that everywhere, like starting with like the first story in the Bible, <laughs> Adam and Eve. Yeah. Yep. There you go. And it just gets worse. <laughs> and it hasn't changed. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, so we thought it was kind of fun to think up of some modern examples of women with really striking dualities. Like, the only way that they are successful, especially in show business, is either if they are beautiful or if they're absolutely crazy. So, so there's you guys have some Lindsay Lohan, for Lindsay instance. Lindsay Lohan. Like she, Perfect she is example. Pretty, yeah. Same with Britney. Exactly, yeah, Britney too. They just go nuts and then all the, you know, everything's focused on yeah, them, whereas there's more important things in mm -hmm. life. Like, I don't know, world problems. So, yeah. I think it's all kind of strange. But then there's like the pretty people, like Beyonce. Anne Hathaway. Oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah. Oh, Shakira. Shakira. Yeah. And we all get excited because we really like them and think yeah. they're really pretty and everyone yeah. idolizes them, you know? Yeah.
Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> and Kesha. No. I forgot that. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy definitely crazy. Sure. She wore a meat dress, so. It's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. And again, they get all the attention because of that. And they're super rich. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So it makes us like want to be like that, which is sad. Yeah, yeah. because when we read yeah. Hamlet, we're like, oh, we don't want to be like Ophelia. But then in real life, we're like, oh my god, I want to be Beyonce, or I want to be Lady Gaga. So. And there's not very like normal women that you wish to be. I mean, I can't really name yeah. one that I want to be. So, yeah. So in the end, with Hamlet, you it's, it's up to you to decide whether you want to take all of Shakespeare's um, like information about women in that time in a really negative sense yeah. or in a positive sense like he he's not saying anything about it he just leaves it there and it's up to us whether like yeah. we think he's saying oh this was really bad back then or just like that's how it was deal with it or if he's saying yeah damn straight <laughs> men are on top you know yeah. um yeah just kind of our interpretation mm -hmm. make of it what you will yep